Madonna, a musical icon and cultural influencer that many women emulate. Uh, she has contributed tremendously to the musical world. Today, I'm going to analyze the way she looks. I know there's been a lot of discussion in uh, the recent past about her transformation from her early days to the present, and I'm going to explain to you what happened, at least uh, what I believe happened. So if we look back to 1985, which was about two years after her uh, big hit studio album came out, and we compare that era to the current era, which is from 2022, where we can see this tremendous transformation of her face and her appearance. This, we have to figure out what exactly happened here and how did it happen. It's not uh, totally understandable to most people uh, when they look at somebody, they think, wow, she really went to the extreme, and uh, that's a true statement. But the question is, how did that actually happen? Why did it happen? And we're going to go into that in, in detail. So if we look back to 1985, which was approximately 38 to 40 years ago, uh, we're seeing a woman who has not altered her face, really. She just has some cosmetic changes uh, with her hair and her makeup and so forth. She does have a little telltale weakness of the left upper eyelid. So there's a little bit of a droop on the left upper eyelid, which she uh, has camouflaged a little bit with the way her hair drapes down over her eye. Her eyebrows are big and thick. Uh, I don't know if they've been penciled in or, or she just let them grow in. Grow in. Uh, but she basically has an unadorned uh, appearance at this juncture in her, in her life. Uh, there really is nothing uh, that has been done from a cosmetic surgical point of view or from a uh, even non-invasive point of view. Just another uh, photograph from 1985. Again, she changes up her hairstyle. Uh, nothing has really changed. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of that left upper eyelid droop uh, on this uh, uh, side view. She, she has an oblique view of a uh, photograph here, so it's hard to tell exactly what's going on with the left upper lid. But there is some weakness there probably uh, that's going to be um, important later on in terms of her analysis of the way she appears. And here we see in 1986, she has a little bit of a slight droop of the left upper lid uh, when you look on face at her, but there's really no um, uh, particular um, problems with her face. Her face is symmetric. She has a little hollowing of her lower eyelids. You can start to see a little bit of that uh, hollowing uh, starting. And other than that, there's really nothing that's been uh, altered again. Fast forward to 1990, which is uh, She's approximately 32 years of age at this point. And here we see uh, she's starting to have some hollowing of the lower eyelids. You can start to see a little bit of that shadowing. She doesn't have uh, a, uh, any alteration in the mid-face area. It looks relatively flat, and she has the, the nasal labial lines uh, on the side of her, her, her mouth are becoming accentuated. Uh, she has good contour around her uh, jawline, and her brows are, are now a, a bit uh, contoured and thinner. But other than that, uh, I don't see much change. It's possible at this juncture she did have, uh, prior to this, a correction of that left upper eyelid, however, because now the aperture of her left eyelid is now a little wider, and it's possible they corrected what's called ptosis uh, on the left upper lid. So here we see her two years later, and this is totally conjecture, but it looks like there's a left upper eyelid recurrent eyelid droop or ptosis, and there isn't any other surgical interventions that appear to have occurred. 1996, that's four years uh, after the last photograph, and here we see Madonna appearing almost like a uh, maternal or grandmotherly image, and she has, again, that telltale, very small degree of ptosis that left up her lid. Other than that, she looks uh, perfectly beautiful, symmetric, uh, beautiful face. She looks flawless in, in many respects. Uh, but uh, a very different look than she had previously uh, tried to achieve. And 1998, only two years later, uh, even though her hair is draped over the side of her face, it looks like her face is much more contoured than she had previously uh, uh, had uh, appeared, and therefore it's possible, It's not, although I have no proof, uh, she might have had a facelift at this point uh, to uh, kind of tighten up her face. Either that or she went on an extreme diet and lost a lot of weight, but um, it, it appears that her face is much more contoured and a much different look than she had only two years prior to that. The year 2000, she's now 42 years old, 
and she has a beautiful oval uh, contour to her face. She has full cheeks. It's possible she had some uh, cheek augmentation at this point. Her left upper eyelid appears to have had uh, the ptosis correction uh, repeated, and her eyes open normally, and everything else looks, uh, you know, well balanced and beautiful. So if we look at her image from 2000 to 2005, her, her chin looks more squared off. It looks more masculine in, in a sense uh, versus this more uh, smooth contour along the jawline in an oval shape that we see in the earlier pictures. Uh, now, the reason for this squared off chin, either she had a chin implant or she had filler put in along the jawline that changed the contour of her chin. Uh, it's possible either one occurred. However, when we look only in 2006, uh, we see that the, she now has gone back to the original uh, contour, which is more V-shaped and less squared off. So it's possible they either remove the chin implant or remove the filler, or the filler just wore off, but it's definitely a change. She also has uh, augmentation of the mid-face area here uh, to fill in her cheeks to give her more volume in the mid-face. Six years later, in 2012, we see that her left upper eyelid is again looking a, a little uh, droopy compared to her right upper eyelid. It's possible she has a recurrent eyelid ptosis again. Her chin looks a little squared off. I don't know if she's getting filler or she had an implant. And her mid face is starting to really fill in with a lot of fillers. And especially around the corners of her mouth, you can start seeing this little pooch over here and here, uh, which is possible uh, either fat grafting or, or other artificial fillers. 2016, she's 48 years old, and you can start seeing in this oblique view, she has a lot of uh, sagging starting around the, kind of in the jowl area here. And I don't know if that's from overfilling her face to compensate for some laxity or that's uh, some other uh, just age-related changes. Her chin also looks a little prominent. Again, it looks like she uh, filled in or augmented her chin in some fashion. Her left upper lid, again, it's an oblique view, but her left upper eyelid looks a little drooped again. Uh, and she has virtually no lines in her forehead, probably getting Botox in that location. Uh, other than that, um, it's, I think it's, uh, it looks like there's too much filler or too much augmentation of her cheeks and, her, and in the lower part of her face, and that is starting to sag downward. So here, here we see her approximately a year later, uh, and we can see her face looks a lot tighter. There's, there's a loss of the sagging of the, in the mid-face, uh, lower face here. The, the mid-face looks asymmetric because they uh, augmented the face in some fashion, either with fat or uh, injectable fillers, and uh, she's obviously trying to regain some uh, youthful uh, tone and imagery to her face. Here we are in 2019, uh, two years later, and she, her face is much more contoured. Uh, apparently, the facelift has settled down. Some of the augmentation has uh, dissipated, or let's say settled down, and uh, she looks, I call it, more beautiful, more symmetric, and, and more natural appearing. Her neck is tight, and her lips are, are symmetric and, and uh, beautiful. 2020, uh, this is a very seminal year in terms of her, her appearance. She goes from uh, what I call a beautiful, uh, very symmetric, beautiful woman. Now she's trying to really uh, go down the pathway of trying to regain her image uh, when she was, uh, you know, in her 20s. And you can see that they, her face is totally rearranged. Uh, they augmented her, her, her mid-face, her, her, these malar eminences you can see over here. There's a lot of uh, fillers in those areas. Uh, her jawline is tight. Her eyebrow uh, contour has changed and her lips look uh, uh, more augmented as well. Uh, so she's really trying to uh, go back in time and, and uh, regain something that she thought she lost or maybe they feel like their edge is, they're losing their edge in terms of their appearance. Um, and I've seen this occur many, many times and uh, particularly in celebrities or people with, uh, you know, uh, no limitation, financial limitations of any kind, they go in and the surgeon uh, and, the, and, and the patient start to go down a pathway where their face is rearranged. Uh, even though they want to regain all this youthful look, they sort of lose their uh, self-imagery and uh, they look somewhat unnatural uh, in the end. Now we're in 2022, two years later, and now we're even seeing a further uh, uh, alteration in the appearance. She's dyed her, her eyebrows, uh, her her hair is pulled back, uh, her forehead looks high, it looks like she has recession of her hairline. Uh, her augmentation on her, on her cheeks is way um, 
beyond what we consider to be normal and, and asymmetric. The right side's bigger than the left. Her lower, ch her 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 lips uh, also are augmented, and she's definitely morphing into a uh, person uh, that's unrecognizable uh, in terms of the way she was only a few years before this. This is a profile picture of her in 2022, and you can see that her jawline is very sharp. Uh, and it, it was clearly uh, very clear from this picture that she had a uh, facelift and uh, possible augmentation along the jawline to give her a very sharp uh, uh, jawline between her jaw and her neck, um, and her cheeks are full, uh, fully uh, inflated as well, uh, starting to look nothing like she did originally. And here we are in 2023 at the Academy Awards. We, many of us uh, were shocked to see her uh, appear this way. She looks obviously overinflated in uh, almost all aspects of her face. Uh, obviously, she's much older than she was, uh, you know, in previous pictures, but still, she looks nothing like she did originally. Uh, she had too much augmentation in too many places, and, and her face was tightened and rearranged. So the question is, how does this happen? How does this occur? Why does this occur in celebrities? And, uh, you know, not to be repetitious, but I believe that many uh, celebrities uh, are always seeking to go back to their heyday, their moment in time when they were at the height of their fame, and they're always trying to capture the fountain of youth, so to speak, and in, in trying to do that, they go down the road of, of getting overinflated, overoperated on, and then they rearrange their face to a point where they're not even recognizable. We all love Madonna, we love her music. But this is a cautionary tale about celebrities or people with unlimited wealth who can go to plastic surgeons and convince those plastic surgeons to do procedures that may not be in their best interest. My objective always when I see a patient is first I have to be uh, a guardian, a guide to them in terms of what they, they want to achieve. And I'm always trying to uh, persuade them and uh, to go towards a more natural uh, appearance. To me, that is the uh, real goal of doing any cosmetic procedure is to turn back the clock, but don't make people look different. Uh, keep their natural beauty, and everybody has some natural beauty. Whether it's perfect or not, it's, it's natural looking, and it is not freakish in, in, in appearance, and therefore uh, we should all strive for that goal, which is to achieve a natural, unaltered, appearance uh, as a final result. If you have any further questions, please leave them below. I'm more than happy to answer the questions.